Let's start by taking a look inside a conventional battery. A conventional battery is the same whether it's for a truck or for a car. Conventional battery construction is pretty much the same for all batteries, whether it's an EFB or an AGM. We'll talk about EFB and AGM batteries in future chapters. First, we're going to have a look at the positive plate, or if you'd like to be more scientific, the positive electrode. The plate is basically a grid with the active mass attached to it. The grid itself has two different functions. It provides a basic structure that supports and holds the active mass. As the grid is mainly made of lead, it carries the electrons going from the active mass to the lug or vice versa. The active mass contains the chemical elements needed for the reaction to deliver or take in electrical energy. The positive plate is surrounded by a separator to isolate it from the negative plate. The separator is made from a special microporous PE material to allow the exchange of chemical elements between the plates and the electrolyte. Obviously, when there is a positive electrode, there needs to be a negative electrode as well. For most of the batteries, except truck AGM, the negative grid is different compared to the positive grid and the active mass is made from pure lead instead of lead dioxide used for the positive electrode. We will go into the differences of the features and benefits of different grid technologies after this chapter. The positive and negative plates are connected in parallel by a welded connector that is either connected to the battery terminal or to the next cell. In total, a 12 volt battery is made of six cells connected in series each containing positive and negative plate sets. On top of the container, there is a special lid that provides a central degassing outlet and a special flame arrester to avoid sparks from outside igniting the gases inside the battery. So what's missing? As we're talking about lead acid batteries, we've looked at the grids and the active mass, which are made of lead, but where's the acid? The space around each plate in each cell is filled up with liquid electrolyte made from dilute sulfuric acid. The lead acid battery is the only battery where the electrolyte takes part in the chemical reaction. 